money I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am just doing a fun makeup look with my James Charles palette. I figured I would just kind of play around with the eyeshadows today with you guys. So let's get started. So to start off with, I'm going in with my Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Priming Spray. So I'm like really trying to decide what colors I want to do today. I really want to play around with the James Charles palette since I haven't really used a lot of the colors in it. So I'm really excited to see what makeup look I can do today. For my primer, I'm going in with the NARS Pore and Shine Control Primer. I really like to concentrate this more so in my T-zone. And then just kind of bring whatever product you have left to the other parts of your face. Next, I'm going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. And then I concentrate this right under my eye and I do bring it down like into the crease of my nose. I feel like this helps with creasing there as well. The last primer I'm going to use today is the... The last primer I'm going to use today is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And I like to warm this up with my fingers and then I apply some on my cheek, forehead, nose, and then just whatever's left on my chin and then just rub it in. I try to be careful on how much product I use of this because if you overdo it, this stuff I feel like can make your skin just a bit more oily because this is nice and hydrating in my eyes so you just have to kind of learn how much product to use. So for my foundation today, I am going in with the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I am in the shade M3.5 and I'm just going to take a beauty sponge and just apply this all over my face. Okay, so for concealer today, I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I am in the shade Custard. And I'm just putting this right under my eyes. And then just down the middle of my face. some lipstick. Oh, lipstick. I'm just gonna apply some chapstick quick because my lips need it. Next to kind of carve out my face I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer again except it is in the shade of Monde. And blend that out. Next, I'm going to go in with my Dermablend Professional Loose Setting Powder just to set my face. I'm going to carve up my nose, so I'm just leaving some of the translucent setting powder on my nose. Great way to make your nose look smaller. And then I'm also carving out my cheeks. Okay. 
And now that it's been sitting, I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender. Just to warm up my face a little bit, I'm going in with the NARS Casino Bronzer. I will be taking my Farah 30F brush, and I basically am just going to go all over the same places that I did my cream contour. To warm up my neck, I'm going in with my 50F brush. And then just to carve up my nose again, I'm going in with my 50F E brush and just going in the same areas again. For blush today, I am going in with the NARS Deep Throat and I will be using the 40F brush to blend that out. And then I'm going to go back in with my 50F brush just to make sure that my blush blends in nicely. And then I'm going into the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralize Skin Finish Highlighter with my 28F brush. And I'm just going to go over the high points of my face. And then right now I'm just going in with my 05E brush to highlight my nose and then also my cupid's bow. And then I'm also just gonna apply some of this to my collarbone just to give it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick off camera and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I have my brows on. To accomplish them, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil in the shade Ebony and I also use the Anastasia Clear Brow clear what is it called I literally have like all of it wiped off it's the clear brow solution stuff you know what I mean it'll be linked below so as you guys know I'm using the James Charles palette today so let's just dive right in so first I'm gonna go in with my 35e brush I'm gonna kind of go for a subtle like almost red orangey maroon colors I don't really know yet I kind of just go for it I never really have something in mind if that makes sense um, so I am gonna go in with the shade canvas it is this shade right here I'm gonna use my 322 a cosmetics brush and I'm just gonna lay down this color just all over my lid The next shade that I am going to go with, I think I'm going to go in with the shade Rusted. It is this shade right here. It's kind of a burnt orange color and I'm using my 35E brush. And I'm just going to kind of lightly start this in the inner, in the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just slowly bringing it upward and kind of into my top crease. And then I'll zoom you guys in here. That, um, so yeah, I'm just blending this out really and kind of bringing it right here as well, but still staying in the top crease. And I'm just gonna kind of dive in and just get a bit more. But since this is so pigmented, I am being careful. The next color I'm going to go in with is You're Kidding. It is this color right here. It's just kind of a really pretty red. But I'm using the same brush. 
and just being really light handed. And I'm honestly just concentrating this right on the outer part of my eye and then also bringing it over the inner part of my lid too. I'm kind of over almost just putting it all on my lid and only concentrating it there. And then I'm just going to kind of slowly go up with my brush making sure that it is blending out with the rest of the eye look. Now for the bottom lash, I am going to go in with my 25E brush and go back in the with the shade Rusted, which is the first color we went in with. And I'm just bringing this under my eye. I'm just making sure it's nice and blended and I'm only going to be using this shade under my eye just to keep it not too intense and just to bring some more color I'm going to go in with the shade Benny which is this color right here it's basically like a black shade but I'm going to go in with my 25E brush and pop this right in the outer portion of my eye and I'm gonna keep it right there notice how it just kind of like darkened it up way more and I just want to be careful not to add too much I feel like that's the perfect amount I'm going back in with my 35e brush just to make sure that's all blended Okay, and that is basically it for the eyeshadow colors. Um, I'm gonna go in with my 10F brush and go in with the shade Ring Light, which is this shade right here. It's basically just a really pretty like highlight color. It almost looks champagne-y. I'm taking my makeup setting spray and I'm gonna apply some to my 10F brush and then just get my brush wet. And then I just put this right in the inner corner. And I'm not going to put too much just because I don't want it to be too overpowering. But on the other side of my brush where I didn't apply any setting spray, I am going to use it to put some on my brow bone. And voila, that is it. I am going to go off camera guys, my camera is about to dead dead wow my camera is about to die I'm gonna go off camera do the other eye and I am going to apply my false lashes while I'm at it so I am going in with the cosmetics London eye lore Vegas nay lashes I'm using my benefit their real mascara and then I'm also just using my lash duo glue just so you guys know what I'm using to glue them with and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. I have my lashes on. And I also applied my lipstick. I use the MAC Creme Cup. It'll be down below. Um, so yeah, I really like how this turned out. I think this is just a really kind of sexy, smoky eye red look. And I know I've done something like this before, but I feel like this is a bit more springy. It isn't as dark as the previous one I've done in my videos. So yeah, let's just give you guys a montage. Okay guys, so that is it for the video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up comment below and subscribe and make sure to hit that notification button to know when I will post. I post every Wednesday and Sunday so twice a week and yeah I will see you guys in the next video.